Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Thursday, June the 2nd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters coming to you this morning from Harrison Bay State Park near Chattanooga. And boy, is it hot up here, and it, it is also hot across central Alabama. Birmingham set a new record yesterday. Here's our SkyCam network this morning, and there's a look at Fayette as the lights are beginning to wink out and the skies are clear. And then how about this shot of the Tom Bigby River at Demopolis with a great shot of the water tower, and we're getting a little color in the eastern sky. There's the culprit right there. Uh, the upper atmosphere, 500 millibars, roughly about 18 to 20,000 feet. And the large upper ridge is just holding very strong across the southeastern U.S., keeping us in a hot and humid weather pattern. As a matter of fact, much of the southern tier of the United States, all the way from New Mexico across to North and South Carolina, is very warm. Uh, these are actually uh, 4 a.m. temperatures this morning, and uh, that's because I'm in an, an hour time difference. And uh, across central Alabama, oh, these temperatures keep climbing up for morning lows. Uh, we're uh, around 80 degrees at Birmingham, 73 at Tuscaloosa, 72 at Anniston, so it is definitely hot and we're not going to start the day out very cool, as a matter of fact. QPF continues to show the possibility that we'll see some isolated showers, uh, and the rainfall will be quite spotty, and most, most locations not expected to get any rain at all. Storm Prediction Center outlooking a slight risk uh, over uh, part of northeast Alabama, part of uh, northern Georgia, part of South Carolina, a little bit of North Carolina, and a little section of uh, southeast Tennessee. That slight risk coming primarily because of the high humidity as well as the high heat. And uh, the main threat is likely to be damaging wind if any isolated thunderstorms development. The slight risk also uh, in effect from Iowa back up across a good portion of South Dakota and almost all of North Dakota and a good portion of Minnesota. And on the tropical scene... We are looking at the second day at a couple of different little uh, uh, cloud masses. One is a couple of showers and thunderstorms off of Louisiana, off of New Orleans primarily, and the other is a cloud mass in the Caribbean. Neither is expected to develop uh, anytime soon, but after 48 hours, the area in the Caribbean is likely to become more favorable for development. The morning 06C GFS model run, and we're sticking with the upper... Uh, air pattern and there's the ridge just holding tough uh, that's uh, today Thursday afternoon here is uh, Friday afternoon and that ridge just holding very very strong deflecting all of the traveling weather systems well to our north as a matter of fact notice how far north that ridge does make its influence felt all the way up into Canada by Saturday the ridge is flattening uh, it's being uh, attacked by a number of different uh, traveling weather systems but as you see on Sunday it's still just holding tough uh, we're showing a little bit of something in the southwestern Gulf but I don't think that's going to amount to a whole lot by Monday uh, the ridge is beginning to retrograde enough that at least uh, the mid-Atlantic states should see some relief from uh, some of the heat. Although, uh, by Tuesday, it seems to have built back in just a little bit, and once again, keeping us very, very hot. And the only real risk we have is that we might see some afternoon isolated showers. Uh, here is uh, on Wednesday, a week from yesterday, and once again, that ridge just holding tough, centered from Texas, all the way up into the Great Lakes once again. And finally on Thursday, and you can see the ridge still holding very, very strong. Going out into voodoo country, uh, not much change, at least for the first part. Now the GFS continues to sort of tempt us, tease us, if you will. Uh, there's the ridge, but it is, uh, it is showing signs of breaking down there, but it breaks down around the 18th. But we've been seeing this on the GFS, and so it hasn't happened just yet. So I'm still not very optimistic that it will happen. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted 
uh, around uh, 8 a.m. or so on Friday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a wonderful day and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.